Oh, I know all of you were dying to see the banana ramp back in the driveway. This thing looks freaking sick over here. Old Lime's coming back because it's about to snow like three to five inches. Absolutely ridiculous. But look at this, guys. Ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Oh, she looks good. Surprise, we got a box in our back seat. You already know our fifth gen tails. Our fifth gen tails are here, so we're gonna be installing those today, and we almost also might get to painting our third brake light, I think. But we're also gonna put our tailgate bar on and some other things, but this thing's gonna look even cleaner today. Look at this. Now guys, last night, when I got home, I kinda just, first of all, <laughs> I hate when it rains. I'm gonna need a garage for these things. Last night, I kind of sat here, guys, when I got home, and I just sat here, and I'm like, honestly, I'm driving this because of hard work, and that, that makes me smile. Um, really, I did all this, and that's what blows my mind. But uh, anyway, thank you for your support on all of this, this build, the, the channel in general. Thank you. Um, let's get to the shop, and let's change out the booty on this truck. So it's freezing, absolutely cold. Obviously, it's going to snow in a couple hours, but... We lined up all the rams. This looks freaking nasty. And Mike made a point here. 1250s. We've got 1350s. We've got 1450s. And we've got 1550s. And honestly, we all got Furies. So regardless, though, we've got each width uh, or standard width of tire, I guess. But here's the 1550s, 1350s, 1450s, and then uh, <laughs> the 1250s, which is nuts. But each single one of these trucks has some freaking awesome awesome stance oh look at that look at that oh these all look so freaking good especially next to each other uh, a bunch of these need washed but that's besides the point I had to line them up today oh my gosh that looks freaking sick you guys can't like what they all look so good all right what color are we painting your truck Freaking crazy. Gen tails from Retro Shop. These, this guy, uh, Retro Shop did the tails and heads on the green ram, and they had these in stock at the time. If you want this part number, here it is. But they had these in stock at the time, and they are no longer in stock. So I ordered them at the right time, and I figured he's already got them in stock. Why would I not just have him paint them as they go out the door? For a small fee, he just shot them for me, and um, they're here, done, ready to go, put in. We still gotta paint the third brake light. We may get that, we may get to that today, but I don't know. But uh, I'm excited to see these because these are gonna change the whole rear end of this truck. Obviously, we're going to fifth gen tails, so um, this is gonna be nuts. Is their uh, is their factory third brake light any different than, than that one or not? Fifth gens? Um, I uh, so I think on Zach's truck it's the same as that, just tinted, and he's got the bezel painted. So I think that's all I'm gonna do, paint so, around yeah. it, not tin it. Because I was gonna say, you just go for the whole fifth gen look back here. I <laughs> these are so bright, I can see them through the wrapping paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, shut up. Just shut up. No, no, dude, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's gonna look stupid. That's gonna look so good. 
stickers, yes. We're in the toolbox. This is, oh my gosh. So, I can already tell you right now. So what happened here is to get these to work, you plug this into your trailer hitch. But Putco on the tailgate bar was like, okay, we'll make it easier and we'll plug it into your trailer hitch. So I think I'm about to piggyback a piggyback to run both of them at the same time. <laughs> Triple harness back there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Okay, so I gotta figure this out, guys, because I'm. <laughs> I know how to swap tail lights, <laughs> but because we're converting this, obviously there's resistors and stuff. I don't know if this plugs, like this, I don't know where this plugs into at the moment. I really don't. So we gotta figure that out. Obviously these runs, and then do we just not use our factory tail light harness? Like, I don't know here. Or does it plug in and go through? I don't know. We'll figure that out, but let's start with this one. I know we're gonna have to run that harness from the, uh, Eight pin down there. Ooh. It's already piggybacked once for this, so I'm piggybacking a piggyback that's gonna piggyback two piggybacks. With a piggyback. Yeah, so triple, triple piggyback. Triple piggyback barbecue. <laughs> Don't take my idea. Is, it, is, is that a full slab of ribs or just oh, a half Oh, we're doing multiple slabs at the same time. <laughs> that's up. Uh, is that really just this one? Because that would save me a ton of time if it's just this. And it's, yeah, dope. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. But is that different for the LEDs? Yeah, I have it set to a fourth gen incandescent tail to a fifth gen LED. That's what that the harness, harness yeah, or, or no, that's what the harness is. Look a shade off on camera. So this looks the same, this doesn't. Like I'm looking right up. This to this is different because of the light. All the same thing happens on all of these colors. If you go look at my headlights, it looks the same way. Any little this don't look the same as this. This don't look the same. It's all lighting. I hate these colors.
Okay. Right, so you just had to flip the... So wire. he makes this plug, but oh, he shaved mean. off all the ridges and the little clip. Because it, it, would, it wouldn't fit. But when you shave it off, it fits in the square. Uh, so I kind of matched... I, I, yeah, all I did, you could do it either way, but I matched it up as the where the, the little clip would normally clip in. But no, it should be upside down. Even though he, I mean, he shaved it off. So you just had to flip it? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely not in the bottom. But I don't think I can. Oh, there it is. Look at that. But look, I'm not at the bottom. It's not in. Oh. Well, three of the four is good, right? No. Rotated somehow. But see that plastic plug again. But so this doesn't want to get pushed down in? No, this oh, runs okay. into here trying to put that in there. Can't you just squeeze these things and then it That's comes out? That's what I want to try. Does this one have the slow drop? This? The slow drop? Yeah. Tailgate? No. no. So you're going to have to install the grills fit. I actually have one, but I'm not too concerned with it because actually I probably should. Uh, dog, lead. You need it? Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> Do you actually need it? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> Why? Well, I'm trying to get rid of it. Wait, you know, that was a pain. Wow, it actually worked. Have you been I there don't though? think I've ever been to a Chuck E. Cheese. What is wrong with So that's things? what we're going to do in Daytona? We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I bet you like that, huh? You know what they say, Mike. You don't know till you know. No. I think that's what Zach was trying to tell me when he said the, head, the headlights will not go in like that <laughs> anymore. What? <laughs> they oh. have to snap in from the side. What? Can we do that party where we were doing burnouts in the street again? But I actually can come this time. Burnouts in the street? Wait, where is this? Where? Remember at Zach's, or your parent, or somebody's house. That was oh. here, we did them here. No, no, when you went over for Easter, the oh, yeah. Ashley's mom's house. Oh, Ashley's mom's. My house? Oh. We can do it in front of my house, nobody's gonna say anything. <laughs> okay. Look at All that, right, wait, I wanna it see works. It works and the tailgate warmer. You should get down a little bit. That's the same thing. King guys, <laughs> dude, <laughs> this thing looks freaking fantastic! Like, absolutely, just out of bounds. Fantastic. Um, let me tell you, it is a crap ton of yellow, but those on I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the screen, I'm not looking at you guys, <laughs> but oh, oh, that looks freaking sweet. So coming from Retro Shop, you got a couple options if you guys want the 5th Gen Tails. I will tell you, they are back ordered now. I'm not saying I got a special set. I just got my order in in time. Um, but um, you can have these tinted, like my buddy Zach. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen me post his silver tails multiple times um, on his actual 5th Gen, not a 4th Gen like mine. But on his 5th Gen, he's got these tinted. Um, and that looks really good. And from Retro Shop, you can also have the option to get the RAM letters painted. I opted to not do that. I didn't want to do black. And I really didn't want to do red. It might take a, a lot away from the truck. However, I think red letters would not be that awful on these if I did it again. But i um, super thrilled with that. Honestly, um, super, super thrilled with how these things turned out. Like... Guys, oh, they're probably they're one of the cleanest sets of tail lights. Now I know some of you are gonna say, well, well what about the green ram? Yeah, the um, Morimoto tails also are super freaking clean. Um, the, the with the ho whole holographic thing going on, these are sweet as well. Um, but here's exactly two different style rams. Ooh, white lighting and all. I'm actually gonna pull this closer so we can compare. So I do need running boards coming because I'm gonna end up wearing this out. 
it's funny that 12 inches of lift it's like a lot different but i keep rolling over this and i don't want to wear the seat out completely so i'm definitely gonna get the amp steps coming let me know powder coat them jasper yellow which matches the truck or powder coat them lollipop red i can also just powder coat them like polished aluminum but i don't think that would look as clean the red would look sweet but maybe tacky black themselves would be awesome but not as custom so i think i'll probably powder coat them yellow or just leave them black so uh one of those two let me know your guys opinion down below but i'm definitely gonna get those coming but here you go two completely different style rams now like i said this one is still not done yet definitely not done yet lots to go but this is like almost pretty much everything oem but over here like i said pretty basic dumb thick this whole truck and then you come back to the rear ends guys oh are they snazzy they are just freaking snazzy um like i said here are the morimoto uh tails they, they, they're awesome they freaking look sweet do i have my keys on me no but they look sweet um honestly can't say even better things about these now pretty much for this truck i had two options over here um I guess I could have done three and converted it to the factory LEDs, but regardless, to get something awesome, cool, paint matched, fifth gen tails were option number one, and two were the Morimoto's. And to be honest, I kind of like how it's just lens paint on this. You don't even crack them open, and it makes for a really clean tail light. It really does. And I love the, you know, the OLED running light here, and then uh, you got your switchbacks. Let's see. Let me get the. Um, let me get the turn signal going for you guys. But like I said, oh, I forgot, yeah, our tailgate bar too. But we got the uh, the Putco tailgate bar installed as well. And like I said, I did run a piggyback off of a piggyback off of a piggyback um, to get this to work. But oh my gosh, look at that. That looks freaking sweet. Absolutely nuts, guys. So like I said, under here, if you look up and in, you pretty much just unplug your trailer wiring and thank you. But you just unplug your trailer wiring in here and you put the piggyback into that and then your put coal will run. Well, my buddy at Retro Shop ran his harness the same way. You piggyback off the trailer wiring to get your fifth gen tails to work. So I put the piggyback in the piggyback, which is also piggybacked to go up here to run the fifth wheel <laughs> to run the fifth wheel wiring in here <laughs> so i think we got three piggybacks off of the factory wiring harness but everything works as it should i'm glad i went with no tint and i'm glad i went with the you can get these to do a red turn or a yellow turn well amber turn but obviously the truck's yellow and not to mention i do kind of like the amber turn really you know the switchback function is always cool i even have it on this putco tailgate bar on this truck as well we went with the amber too so <laughs> i can't get over it guys i honestly can't get over it this truck looks so good and like i said uh boost auto parts mirrors as well switchback alpha rex headlights switchback boom and you know this is what's crazy is this truck was so loud <laughs> it was absolutely incredibly loud but now finishing this <laughs> it's like louder absolutely louder so like both of my babies here man <laughs> absolutely nuts my third baby over here <laughs> is just like cute little cute little guy and like that's what this whole truck was for <laughs> you know just have that truck to run around town with hook up a trailer do what you need when you don't want to drive something super pretty or you don't want to drive something super large so three types of ramps here i'll get the job done <laughs> man i'm nuts i'm freaking i'm just nuts <laughs> guys this thing looks so freaking good inside i just had to give you guys this kind of view because the sun's obviously not down yet but 16 rock lights, that's it on this guy. We got the Kelderman uh, radius arm lit up as well. Ooh, boost auto parts, mirrors, white cab lights. So what I have to say, obviously, fifth gen tail light conversion, absolutely nuts. Um, it looks good. Like I said, I have very few options to add to this truck. I think that really cleans up this rear end a bunch. Honestly, almost probably in the next, I almost might do this tomorrow. I wanna to paint this yellow 
and our third brake light is so far out of place it's absolutely unreal. The plan is to mask that off and tape it just like this, do this kind of ordeal with it. All right, and also on the bed liner. Now here's the thing. I'm getting comments left and right. They're like, don't do it red, don't do it red. And to me, uh, I personally, I just, I don't know. I don't really care, <laughs> but it's gonna be freaking, I think I'm gonna do it red. My thing, well, first of all, the paint's right here. If you guys wonder where I get all my paint from, literally, it is from thecoatingstore.com. They have some colors and stuff. I just found a paint store that's actually close to here that uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna see how that paint is because I'm gonna mix uh, paint for my buddy's fifth gen, my buddy's fourth gen, that dually that you guys have seen, uh, a couple other trucks. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to paint, but we ended up with a quart here of GM Pull Me Over Red. But uh, it's like almost a perfect red, so let's get this out really quick. There it is, guys, Pull Me Over Red. There it is. <gasps> All right, guys, I haven't seen this. I've only seen the picture online and what I could like Google. I think it says on Camaros and Corvettes, but it should be a deep enough, <laughs> a deep enough red for that when we mix it with the Raptor, it should come out kind of like the lollipop. And oh my gosh. <laughs> guys this is freaking red red I guess that's why they call it pull me over red ain't it so what we needed was kind of a semi dark red now there's a lot of reds out there that are lighter than this like firecracker red the Jeep code brighter than pull me over red also firecracker red the Ram code same paint obviously but different but this was a deeper red and I found it and it's was in stock at a store I usually used anyway, so I just said, let's go. Uh, but yeah, we got, <laughs> that's red. But let's see, I don't wanna spill, this. spills this all over the truck. Wow, that's stoplight vibe. Uh, this will go up here. So it's still a little bit bright, but for what it is, obviously that's the uh, lollipop red. And this is uh, pull me over red, but it's a little bit deeper of a red. I think it'll give us the result we're looking for, I think. Guess let's try this out really quick. This is not how you do this, by the way. Hmm. This is not, I know, this is not at all how you do this, and it's not the color it's gonna look after we put it in the Raptor at all. But I just kinda wanted to see how a red liner would actually kinda work in this, guys. I don't know, that's, that's just a ballsy move. That's just straight ballsy. Hear me out, do you really get anywhere without taking risks? So, we might risk it for the, well I already have the paint, so, unless I'm painting the truck red, <laughs> unless I'm painting it red, we have the paint to make the bed liner red. So, I can always reshoot it black. So we'd have like eight layers of bed liner on this truck, but we can always reshoot it black. That's my point. It does look clean and normal, but at this point, I'm not even worried about the clean and normal guys. Like, let's just do something crazy. Let me take the risks and let's see where we end up. Cause I can always reshoot this thing black like next week, anytime. I can shoot this thing black any time if, if it looks that gaudy and in your face. But if it turns out super clean, like, you know, just like that, you, first of all, you drop this bed down and you're like, whoa, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's red. But like literally, suspension's red. That's specifically red. Uh, that will be red, but also surrounded with yellow. But you just walk by and this whole bed is freaking electric red. Come on, you, can, you guys can probably see the concern in my face because I don't know how that's gonna turn out. However, I do have the ability to shoot it black again. And to be honest, I think I'm probably one of the only ones in the game doing colored bed liners. I think I should experiment and see if we can pull this off. Because, you know, people all around, I guarantee they'll sit there and they'll do a white liner in a white truck. I did a purple liner in my purple truck. I've seen red in black trucks, red in red trucks. But I've never seen a colored bed liner accent color in a colored truck. That'd be like me doing a purple liner 
in the green truck. That might be a little much considering everything else going on on that truck, but this is so clean. I honestly think the red liner would just be able to be pulled off. Oh my goodness, guys, we're about to drive this again. This is crazy. I haven't driven this in obviously a couple of days, but like completely different truck than the yellow truck. On top of that though, this thing needs washed. Big time, but the reason why I'm taking this home instead of enjoying the freshly finished banana ram is because of the inclement weather coming. <laughs> All right, guys, and at the beginning of this video, I told you this driveway's gonna look different later this afternoon. And what's absolutely funny here, what's absolutely funny here, <laughs> is I think I just found another truck. Um, you got, a lot of you have actually been asking for this, con this truck. A lot of you have been asking this up, down, left, and right. Um, I will say, I will say it'll be a resto. Um, so this one is gonna be some work, but it's gonna be a very back pocket build. Um, I'm just not gonna pass up this opportunity when it's given to me, so I'm gonna go buy it, and then um, I'll work on it here and there, you know. I'll give, obviously I'm gonna order a bunch of parts, and as, you know, I'll have them in there, and we'll just knock things out as we have free time. But um, I think we'll be picking that build up, I think, Thursday, possibly. Every, if everything goes as planned, we should be picking that up. Thursday, I think, I think everything's set in stone. Don't hold me to it, but I think we just found another one. So bear with me on that. Oh guys, it's been absolutely crazy. Uh, it's been crazy this last year, this everything. As you guys know, we started doing all that stuff right here in this garage. Even even the banana ram, look at this. Look at, the, first of all, yes, it needs clean, but there's spider webs up there. But look at all the yellow paint. <laughs> look at all the yellow paint stuck in them. Yellow paint, purple paint. It's crazy guys, it's been probably just over a year. Just over a year, and look at the growth and just the crazy stuff we're doing. So be sure to get down there, click subscribe, tap that notification bell, leave me a comment, the whole nine. We're about to go crazy here now that the banana ram is done. And I mean it, like, let's get to it guys. This is gonna be absolutely nuts. Um, lots of announcements coming, lots of builds coming. I mean in the near future, trust me, on the announcements and the builds part, near future. Waiting on a couple things and uh, lots of stuff is going to start moving here for us. Um, I want to say thank you guys for your support. I apologize for the shorter video than the last one because that thing was like freaking 50 minutes. But I'll have a lot more videos like that um, upcoming. But just today, I mean, I'm beat after finishing that truck up, guys. So thank you for your support. Stay tuned. Like I said, new stuff coming. <laughs> you guys are going to love it. We're going to have a bunch of new trucks. We're going to have a bunch of old trucks. Um, middle of the road trucks. Cars. SUVs, we're gonna do it all. And I'm still up in the air on wide bodying this Hellcat. This was the only year this car was painted sublime. And I'm talking back in the 70s, it was too. 2015, the Challenger was painted sublime. 2019's the only year Chargers were painted sublime green. That makes this car the only year the Hellcats in the Charger platform were painted sublime. I think Motor Trend, I think, put them out. I forget. Looking at those numbers, I think there were 2,400 some Hellcats made in 2019. And only 34 or 42. It's 42. There are only 42 sublime Charger Hellcats. Now, I'm not saying sublime Chargers, but I'm saying 42 sublime Charger Hellcats ever made, and I have one of them. So I don't know if I wanna wide body it or not. I like the way it looks. And in the future, it might be a rare car if I decide to keep this. So I don't know, <laughs> I really don't know. But that's up in the year too. More trucks, more SUVs, more cars on the way. And trust me, they're gonna flow a lot faster <laughs> than the banana ram did. We got a process in place now, so. So I can't wait to bring you guys that content. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon.